Number three, Cafe Dacha. A cuisine tour to Berlin wouldn't be complete without including its eastern region. A fantastic place to get lost in, the former GDR is Cafe Dacha. It's furnished with vintage wallpaper, tacky trinkets, and old family portraits, for instance, giving you the impression that you're in a person's East Berlin apartment. However, they're making an effort to offer more healthy menu options, such as poke bowls and smoothies. Try some Eastern European favorites like blinis, borscht, and pelmeni dumplings. Moreover, the rib sticking stroganoff combined with sour and crisp pickled vegetables is a favorite dish of many tourists throughout the winter. 2. La Maison In the warmer months, La Maison, a French bakery located on the L'Enfer Canal, is the ideal location for a quick snack or light meal. For instance, they provide homemade soups, simple sandwiches, quiches, and pastries like mandolines and almond croissants. The chocolate-covered caramel tart with a shortbread crust is a customer favorite and is best enjoyed with a steaming cup of cappuccino. After that, many advise taking a stroll through Golitsa Park to experience local life. If you depart with a fresh baguette sticking out of your bag, bonus Euro points. The restaurant cuisine, which includes tender steaks and other international specialties, cooked by the kitchen staff under the direction of Hendrik Piper, may satisfy a variety of tastes. The elegant setting enhances the overall eating experience and goes perfectly with the delectable cuisine. Any wine lover will be impressed by La Maison de la Tricote's fine wine selection, which includes wines like 2016 Graua Burgunda, Liebframilch, and Chardonnay and Weife Burgunda. If you enjoy fine cuisine and wine, this is the spot for you. Number 1. Ginji's Izakaya As soon as you enter this tiny steak and sushi bar, you can see that Ginji, the Turkish owner who spent a number of years studying his trade in Japan, has poured his heart and soul into it. He sources his daily fresh sashimi from Omberg and prepares everything himself. He is decked up in keepsakes such as postcards and a Japanese parasol lampshade. He frequently engages in conversations with customers and tells tales of working in the restaurant industry when he's not teasing with his eccentric right hand. A small and endearing forgetful old Japanese waitress. 